In this video, I want to walk you through how you can easily see your internal use rights that you receive with the solution designations and specializations with your Microsoft partnership. So in our TPM Partner Command Center, I will show you here and under the internal use rights benefits, this is a brand new report that we've created for partners that you can come in and you can see exactly what you can expect with the solution designation, specialization, launch benefits, uh, and so forth. So what I'm gonna do is by taking a look here, we're checked off on all benefits and we can see all of the different benefits that are available to Microsoft partners. What's great about this report is we can look at any one of these items. We wanted to look at like Microsoft 365 E5. We can see that we have 600 total users that are available. And that is if you achieve a modern work solution designation, modern work specializations, security solution designation, or any of the security specializations. So you can get one or many of these to add up to a total or a max of 600 total users of E5. If I wanted to see, well, what, how do I attain Teams Premium? Well, again, modern work, specialization, modern work specializations, but you can also get Teams Premium if you pay for the Partner Success Expanded Benefits. You get five users of Teams Premium from that. If I wanted to see, well, how do I receive, let's say, and I can even go to the top here, and I can say, well, what about the developer tools? So under developer tools, what about Visual Studio Enterprise? So there's a total of 365 enterprise subscriptions that are available, and I can get those 10 with each Azure specialization. I can also get some from BizApps. I can get some from the ISV uh, success programs, modern work, security, specializations, and so forth. So lots of different ways that we can slice and dice to see what do I get with each one of the programs. Now, if I say, well, I have a solution designation, say I have modern work in our program here, we also want to select the solution partner core because when you achieve any of these, there are some core benefits that come with each one. So select modern work and we select the solution partner core and we can see, okay, this is everything that I would have if I had a solution designation of modern work. Now, if I also said, well, I want to go ahead, I, I don't get any uh, dynamics licenses that I can uh, use for internal use. I do have some Dynamics sandboxes here that I can build on, but I don't have any Dynamics licenses that I can use for internal use. I can say, well, I want to purchase this Partner Success Expanded Benefits. And now all of a sudden I can see all of the different uh, my Dynamics 365 Sales Enterprise for 35 users, Dynamics 365 Team Users, Project Operations that I can use. And that's all for my internal use rights, Finance, Human Resources, Customer Insights, Business Central, and so forth. Now, if I said, okay, well, what if I have, I, I, I finally achieve the infrastructure solution designation. Now with infrastructure or any of the Azure, that's a solution designation. So I'll check the core here. And I also have Azure core benefits that are available. And now that I can see with infrastructure, these are the benefits that are available to me. And so I can see, I have some E3 licenses, 100 of those. I've got some go to market benefits. Um, I have Visual Studio licenses, and I even have some Windows Server licensing that is available to me. I can slice this and see, okay, well, exactly how much do I have in Azure credits? Well, I have $6,000 in Azure credits. If I say, okay, well, what if I get the other two solution designations? Now, all of a sudden, I have all three, and I can see that I went from $6,000 to $18,000, $6,000 per solution designation, and now my Azure credits have gone up. If I want to see, okay, well, that's my Azure credits, but what about just the general cloud services? Now I can see, okay, I've got some Microsoft 365 E3 licenses. I can see I've got some Power Automate, some other licenses that are available, but I don't have E5. If I want E5, remember I've got to have a modern work solution designation or a security designation. If I click on one of these, now I can see I do have some Microsoft 365 E5 licenses available to me. So this, bit, this report has been really powerful for many of our partners who wanted to know how do I see exactly what I can get with each of the different solution designations and specializations with Microsoft or any of the paid add-ons like the partner launch benefits or even the ISB success program. Hopefully this is really helpful to you. This is a free report that's available to all partners that's in our partner command center. Uh, we would love to have you be part of it. Easy to sign up, easy to take advantage of our entire TPM university. And we even have more reports that are available to partners uh, as you go through the program. Thank you so much. Appreciate the time and look forward to seeing you in our program.